Hey everyone, welcome back to the CopQuest YouTube channel. My name is David, I'm the manager of agency sales. And as promised in our previous video where we talked about duty UBLs, that's universal belt loop adapters, we're doing the follow-up with concealment options. We've got the model 568 BL, and uh, BL stands for belt loop. But as you can tell, this is a paddle. Um, Safariland just likes to name all their things very similar, so um, they're all gonna be a three digit number and then BL for belt loop when it's referring to a uh, belt loop adapter style piece. Uh, but anyway, into the specifics of it, this first hole right here is uh, gonna be going forward because this is a right-handed paddle. And then this is the back. So these two are gonna be the top of your holster. And then this big hole down here, there's gonna be a hook that is attached to your holster. And uh, that hook is to hook onto the bottom of your belt to help reduce your holster being taken out from your, uh, your waist. Um, but anyway, it's kind of cool, so popular that Safariland actually made an update to it. So, boom. So here's the updated version of it. Um, looks very similar. Uh, honestly, the only thing that they changed is the front hole. So that, again, this is a right-handed paddle. Uh, this is now cantable. So you can change your angle of your holster to suit your draw. If, uh, if you like it canted a little forward, then uh, what you'll do is you'll undo the screw up here, move it to wherever you want, move your holster, and then just simply tighten it down and you're ready to rock and roll, man. Here we go, it's on a holster now. So this is what it looks like. And this is the, uh, the hook that I was talking about. So to put it on, you'll pull your holster away from the paddle, slide this piece into your pants, and then your hook is gonna go on the bottom side of your belt and catch it so that you can't just yank this thing off your belt. You have to actually pull it out, clear the hook off the belt, and then you can pull this out. So there we go. There's the 568 BL, or more commonly known as a paddle. All right, so now we have the model 567 BL. So this is kind of like the universal workhorse of all Safari Land belt loop adapters. And what I mean by that is this is pretty much on every holster or it comes in every holster. So if you get one that comes mounted on a 568 BL, which is the paddle, you're also gonna have one of these in your package. So kind of cool. If you wanna swap it out, you can do that. Some of the cool features about the 567 BL is it's cantable right out of the factory. So you have three different positions that you can choose from. That's why you have three different holes. And other cool feature is you can choose your belt width. So you can go with a inch and a half, inch and three quarter, two inch or two and a quarter, or you can get one that does all of those. And uh, the way you change it, so this particular one I'm holding is for an inch and a half, an inch and three quarter. Right here, there's plastic um, pieces. All you'll do is say you want to go from an inch and a half to inch and three quarter, just knock those out. And now this thing will fit your inch and three quarter belt. All right. So now we've got the 567 BL mounted up on a holster. So you can see what it looks like. If um, it, right now it's in a, a neutral cant. If I wanted to get a positive cant, I'd undo this screw, this screw, and then uh, I would change it around and tighten it back down. Same thing if I wanted a negative cant, just undo, undo, move it, you're good to go. So up next, we've got the 571 BL. It's, uh, it's so tiny, you can't even see it. JK guys, here it is. So this is a micro paddle. So this one is designed more for your micro compact pistols, such as your six hour P365, your Springfield Hellcat, your uh, Smith & Wesson Shield, and all those similarly sized concealable handguns. This is a awesome little paddle. It's designed to minimize the footprint that your paddle will put out there. Micro holster with a micro paddle. Kind of cool. So it's gonna have the same features where you have your two screws up top to attach it. And then you also have the hook down below. So kind of cool. Uh, for those of you who like to go small, this might be your best option. Here we have the model 
45 BL. Um, Again, Safariland loves to do the BL for something that's not really a belt loop. This is a belt clip and uh, the way it works, let me turn it around. So this is the side that would be facing your body. So you're gonna push on this nub here while simultaneously rotating this up. So this is how it works. There we go. So once you do this, you're able to access the three screws that mount this holster onto your, your belt loop. And uh, kind of cool, you can change the, uh, the size. So you can go from an inch and a half to an inch and three quarter to a two inch to two and a quarter by removing this piece up here. Now, Cool, you know, for those of you who might be worried about, you know, this being removed from you when you're in a carrying situation, don't worry, I got an example for you. All right, so we got a belt here for you and we're gonna take the 745 BL. We're gonna pretend the wall behind me is your body. And so we're gonna slide this on, we're gonna close it and there's a snap. So now you know it is secure this thing is not going anywhere. You're able to slide your holster in between your belt loops, but rest assured, this thing is not going off your belt unless you want it to. Here's what it looks like attached to a holster. Let me open it up so you can see the mounting screws. You've got one screw here, second screw here, and then your third screw down here. So pretty simple and you're all secure. Carry on people. So let's get on to my favorite belt loop adapter. As promised, here's my favorite. This is the model 565 BL. And uh, this one's true to its name. This is a belt loop. Um, besides its number that Safariland loves to give, this is commonly referred to as a high ride belt loop adapter. And uh, the reason being is it will keep your holster nice and high and tight and make it a little easier to hide under that cover garment. Another cool feature we're looking at, you have cantable holes. So you're able to adjust your holster to find that right angle to make your draw a lot smoother and easier for you when, uh, when you're carrying that firearm. Your belt is gonna feed through here. You also have options of going with either a inch and a half, inch and three quarter, two inch or a two and a quarter inch belt. And that way you're nice and versatile to suit whatever situation you may find yourself in. So we've got the 565 BL by itself on this belt. Then we've got it attached to a holster. And then as a comparison, we have a level one mid-ride duty holster. So this is 6390. And uh, we talked more about that on our previous video, which we'll, we'll link above. But now you can see just how much this belt loop brings it up and makes it a lot easier to conceal under that cover garment that you might be wearing. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was very educational on all the different ways that you can carry your firearm. And uh, don't forget, to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We're trying to put out great content all the time. If you're interested in picking up any of these ones that we've talked about today, go ahead and check the description down below. We're gonna have everything linked. And lastly, I'm gonna do a third video, and we're gonna talk about tactical options. That's right, three of them. So stay tuned for that video and see all the tactical options you can do. Thanks everyone, be safe, talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.